Hi, welcome to my video. I'm modeling some fruits and vegetables that start with the letter B. Speaking of B, this is Michelle. <laughs> I realized I didn't want to say my last name for mm. privacy reasons. <laughs> so now it just sounds like something bad. I mean, that's what I thought you were going for. <laughs> so here's the... Now, Shell, you can look at the thing. <laughs> Oh, but the image went away. I saw it. Oh, okay. Good. I just took a full look without <laughs> any shame. Without any reaction either. <laughs> it's fine. I forgive you. I like that red um, bell pepper. Mm-hmm. This is a banana. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of annoying in the um, blocking out stages because I had maybe like 10 bee fruits and vegetables that I was considering, and I only um, stuck with five of them. But you're going to see, like, oh, This is, is a that... blueberry. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, like, over there, it's like, oh, is that a blood orange I spy? Yeah, but I didn't keep it. And, mm. like, oh, is that a um, bean sprout? Yeah, but don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, you noticed earlier, it's like, is that a beet? Yeah, and it's also a radish. So when I get to the R's eventually, I'm just going to copy and paste this asset <laughs> into the screen. I really thought, like, you mind-tricked me. I really thought we were still on the blueberry. I'm like, what is this pointy thing under the blueberry? <laughs> it's the... Haven't you ever looked at a blueberry before? <laughs> it's just the pointy part of the like, blueberry. It's really long. Like, it's supposed to... Like, no, blueberries have... Maybe they have, like, a dot on the bottom, but it's not, like, a pointy thing. It's the barb. I, I trusted you. <laughs> but I was judging a bit. Mm, mm -hmm. so, what kind of blueberries are you eating? Probably don't eat those. <laughs> all the leafage because I don't know if you knew but the the leaves on the bottom of the blueberries where the flower sprouted in the fruit group <laughs> oh tell me more <laughs> I can't possibly this is a dreidel mm -hmm. does a dreidel have six sides or oh, five no. just four maybe just four <laughs> I don't think it has four hmm, maybe six then okay google either five or six <laughs> I need to know now okay google <laughs> How many sides does a dreidel have? Four sides. Four, Four sides? I told you. I How? knew in my heart and my soul. So it's just like a dice. Wow. One single dice. Everyone be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many things. Yeah, don't look at them. <laughs> that Kate. looks like a butternut squash. It is. And it's not a spaghetti squash. <laughs> don't try and buy a spaghetti squash and get that. <laughs> When I was editing through this footage to prepare for making a voiceover, I was like, oh yeah, Shell and I are going to have some things to say about butternut squash and spaghetti squash. <laughs> and it's like that second time I'm here alone, it's like, no, I looked, I looked at the, you labeled it wrong. Whoever put yeah. the produce away didn't know. So the full story is that, um, I think it was 2017, because it was the year Felicity was born, because we were still She's in Florida. <gasps> Just kidding. I didn't, I did not know that. <laughs> so it was the year 2018 <laughs> and I had seen a recipe for something involving spaghetti squash and I was so jazzed about it. And so I got one and I just didn't really look carefully enough, but you know, the spaghetti squash and the butternut squash were right next to each other in the store. So I accidentally had grabbed a butternut squash and didn't realize like, even while I was cooking it, I was just like, it's not, like, getting all stringy, like, in the recipe. And I looked, just looked at the pictures better, and I was like, this is a completely different vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> so, lesson learned. We did eventually get a spaghetti squash, but not that day. Um, anyway, so then skip maybe two or three years after that, Michelle comes across a recipe that involves spaghetti squash. And she, like, knowing the trial that I had faced of just having a hard time distinguishing because of just how they were placed in the grocery store she was so careful <laughs> and made absolutely sure like checking the label checking everything and, and I feel like it was a little more yellow too <laughs> it was a more yellow kind of butternut squash yeah but that's felt, the thing so secure it was just a, a yellowish butternut squash still <laughs> so it's the same mistake three years apart different people same household <laughs> So yeah, that's our that's our trial. What is this one again? It's a beet. A beet. Technically, but in your heart and your soul, I mean, it's just a radish. But I looked at pictures of 
radishes and beets, and I think there's not really a big difference. Well, a radish is tiny, isn't it? And then the beets are big ones. Ah. Another issue I had was, I think that Americans call them bell peppers, but I think others call them capsicums. Oh. I don't know how it's pronounced, but that's how it's spelled. I've never heard that. <laughs> I've heard of the whole eggplant aubergine thing. Mm, yeah. Never something for bell pepper. It's just like that. Gosh, there's a cat in here licking Michelle's arm, <laughs> and I don't know if the uh, if it's being picked up in the audio. <laughs> I hope it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a random stranger cat. <laughs> <laughs> Some cat. It's your house's cat. <laughs> <laughs> Who let this cat in here? Oh, I just saw an Instagram where it was like they were outside. It wasn't showing faces or anything, but it was just like looking at this cat. And I guess it was a neighborhood cat, like the the neighbor, not the neighborhood, the neighbor's cat. And they're like, Mm -hmm. they were mad at these guys for like being nice to the cat. They're like, Hmm. (laughs) they're like, you're stealing our cat. Like, no, it's just, you're mad because we're being nice to it. They're like, you need to like send it out of your yard. Tell it to go away. It's like, the cat doesn't speak English. (laughs) How come you keep going from rounded to to straighter edges? That's just a different view you can toggle. But like the straight edge ones are the is more honest. But like I, <laughs> <laughs> but I can press a key to kind of preview what it will look smoothed out, and huh. so it's good to see like okay, where do I need to add definition? Where is it lost? And then I can switch back to the straight straight straighter chunkier mode and add that definition where I need it to be. So it's a good preview. It's funny because when I was editing through, I noticed that I was doing that a lot and I was wondering if I had done that for other videos. I was thinking like, I might need to explain that. But I was like, I don't know if this is just a standard. Chow Chow is just so (laughs) engaged in this piece of paper. There's a cat in our room. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know where it came from. And still, I don't know if the um, microphone is picking up all her shenanigans. Yeah. I can hear her purr from over here. That definitely won't be picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cute banana. Look at them apples. There's not a day. Oh my goodness. Look at them bananas. Oh, you should have done a whole bunch of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I have considered, you know, because there are different, especially with the apples too, it's like there are different colors of apples and mm. like different colors of bell peppers and different, you know, levels of ripeness for bananas. So it's something I've considered. Different sizes of blueberries. Exactly. So it's something I've considered doing multiples, but I think I'm not in the mood to do multiples. If I want to do multiples of a particular piece of produce, then I'll do that separately. (laughs) You just open that up on paint and use a fill tool. Yellow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. (laughs) I know how to do the art. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. You do. You've um, nailed bottles before. (laughs) (laughs) There are some parts of this sculpting process in this video where I'm just like, I'm like so obsessed with this blueberry, like I won't quit. (laughs) And later on with the butternut squash, I have to cut out a lot of the sculpting stuff because it's like very little visible change, but I just didn't stop ever. (laughs) Oh. What, the stems? Yeah. What's going to happen with them all? (laughs) They're just going to be placed. (laughs) (laughs) It's like last week when we were recording the voiceover, we had to keep stopping so that Michelle could do, what was it? Like the, the spring Mod Podge or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we, it's like every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, whatever. So it's nice this time because like the 10 minute mark just passed and I was like, uh oh, I need to say something. I don't though. <laughs> mod Podge. I always want to say Mod Podge. Mm, then Never. do. Do so. But it's not what it's called. Who would stop you? You. <laughs> <laughs> Mod Podge. Yeah, when things don't rhyme, when they so obviously could, <laughs> it's really, it it tweaks my brain. I, I have like, to like, perp, like I had to try so hard <laughs> and think about it being wrong every mm-hmm. time I say it. I can't give you any examples besides that. <laughs> Mod Podge. Well, I'm trying to think too. Like, why is it only Mod Podge? Like, is it short for modern? Modern Podge. <laughs> <laughs> is it though? Okay, Google. Modulator. Mm, yeah, modulate, moderate podge, mm. moderate. So modulate. And what is podge? It's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. There is no other. Don't try and pick apart the sounds. 
I don't accept. <laughs> no, I'm mad. You're going to put up the history of Mod Podge. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to find the try to see. Find the information later and let us I'd know. I'd like to know. You were curious about what happened with the radish leaves, though. This, they're there. They're oh. just hanging out now. They're, it's a group hug. Uh-huh. Group hug? Did I hear that right? Yes. <laughs> okay, just wondering. <laughs> Oh, Ugh. it's like Oddish. Oh, dish. <laughs> well, you Googled Mod Podge. Tell us, tell the world. It just wants to show you what Mod Podge is. Hmm. Rude. I wouldn't have <laughs> guessed that that's what would happen. It's fun that we both had occasion to use Mod Podge in high school. I feel like I thought it was a random thing when you had to use it for one of your classes, but then just a couple years later I had to. Yeah, some of those classics just never... Go out like foam boards and trifles. Mm, mm-hmm. They still get used. And little like balsa wood, um, yes. little rods. <laughs> yes, um, dowels. And, yes. Um, yeah, all the stuff. <laughs> Puffy paints. Oh my. Puffy paints on, on the, um, poster boards. Oh. Brown visor. Couldn't think of one single word of the song. <laughs> Tied up with strings. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this looks like a bell pepper. Mm-hmm. I know because I've been eating bell peppers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not because I know what bell peppers look like. Of course not. You wouldn't know this is a bell pepper unless you were obsessed with them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like one of those things where I was like, our family just says words and sentences that have no meaning. It's like, if someone else said that, I'd be like, oh, so they're trying to say that I, this doesn't look accurate. It doesn't look like anything. <laughs> but when you say it, at least I know she's just saying this to say words. <laughs> I feel like for a second, I was like, oh, she might have taken that the wrong way. And I was like, no, she wouldn't. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm just adding a little bit of scrum. Oh, rumbly bumblies. Yeah. <laughs> yep. A technical term. Mm-hmm. It's not even, like, I was about to say scrungliness. <laughs> like, a little myth that you interrupted, but it's like, I wasn't going to say anything more valuable. <laughs> but I make it too rumply bumply, oh, so no. I need to smooth it out. Erase the scrungles. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, it's like, I want those irregularities. Because you never see, I mean, you do, but like, I don't want to model a picture perfect bell pepper. I want to model one with a little bit of character. Now, what were your thoughts on bell peppers that had five versus three? Hmm. I remember I did Google to see, I mean, I think I've done this in the past too, <clears throat> of just what makes a bell pepper have however many um, sides to it. I think it has something to do with, like, the gender of the bell yeah. pepper. It's just so interesting because I don't really think about that with trees and all sorts. But well, it like... also is, has to do with, like, the sweetness of it, I think. Oh, okay. So they have different, um, <clears throat> like, I, I'm pretty sure that the three ones are, are female and they're the sweeter ones. Okay. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any, like, viewers or commenters yet who will jump on you, like, just yet. I don't know, maybe eventually I'll gain an audience who will be like, I'm actually, you're so wrong about that. I would love, I would love people to be mad at me and correct me. <laughs> I say a lot of things that I don't even believe. <laughs> I know in one of my videos, we talk about something that happened in one of the Star Wars prequels, and it's like, what if you got it wrong? Then you get Ooh. all the Star Wars fans so angry the but number that, the best viewers. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> like, come on, I say things just to get people to comment and be mad. <laughs> yeah. But we like look into the, I don't know, we find the IP address of whatever, and it's like, it came from inside this house. <laughs> oh, no. It was Berm. Berm is so mad you got that fact wrong. <laughs> the call, it was coming from inside the house. Mm-hmm. So I think it's adding sculpted details to this butternut squash in this footage lasts for about one minute, but I think it originally had been like three minutes worth of sculpting, and I was just like, this is so, like, you can barely see any of it, and it's like, I add stuff and take it away and smooth it out, so it's like, 
I need to just simplify this for the for the people. This is your kind of banana. Yeah. <laughs> well, I took away a lot of the green, um, but I was it was all thoughtfully done. <laughs> I I couldn't really I don't know, decide. Because I know I like a little bit of green on the tips of the banana, but I know that it's kind of a personal choice and it says a lot about you. Like I'm not much for um horoscopes and all that, but I am one for your personality being defined by how you eat a banana. <laughs> I remember one really nice thing, like in my job that I had in college, one of my coworkers, like she went to the cafeteria that was close by because I was having some painful period cramps and she was saying that bananas help with that. So um, she went herself to get it because I didn't want to stand or walk or anything. And she brought me back just the perfect banana and I hadn't even said anything about my preferences. And she could have thought like, oh, maybe Elena wants, you know, a few freckles on it. Like, no, she chose the perfect one, just a little bit of green. And it just seemed like, um, I don't know, I felt so seen. (laughs) It was the most thoughtful banana choice anyone's ever made. Elena eats bananas weird. No, I don't! (laughs) Don't do this! She, yeah, every time she takes a bite, it's like I can hear her teeth, like, clack. (laughs) And it's like, bananas are the, like, the squishiest, <laughs> softest food, but okay. she eats it like it's crunchy. Show, <laughs> show Lynn Bay. <laughs> and now she doesn't eat bananas in front of me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't think about it that much anymore. I guess when I do, I always think, like, I need to save this and like make sure to point out something where Michelle's doing but, like I always forget <laughs> it was like what can I like ruin her life about oh no make her think about every single time she eats this one particular delicious food <laughs> just don't pick something like really good <laughs> yeah I think she eats her bell peppers with oh, her no. seasoning <laughs> in such a weird way way too much salt <laughs> <laughs> okay so there's a Pete the Cat book where he he loves bananas. <laughs> okay. But then one day he has a bad banana and then he doesn't want to eat bananas anymore. But what does that even mean? Have you ever had a bad banana? I guess maybe just too ripe because my because <laughs> of my preferences. I guess so. But like even if it's over, like underripe, it's it's not bad. Yeah, I guess it's easier and to you have wouldn't be confused by like oh this one that like the peel is falling off before I can even Yeah. I don't know. I guess that happens more often with eggs. Like, eggs, you have some really good days, and then you just have one particular time of mm. just the worst egg, and you can't do it for another few months. That's true. So I can't, like, I agree. I don't really think of having that experience with a banana. Bananas are pretty consistent. But yeah, Pete the Cat's supposed to be, like, a kid, right? So maybe he just <laughs> ate a really old one. Mm-hmm. Blueberry! <laughs> We didn't have enough time to tell a blueberry story. Oh, no. Um, the okay, kids... I love the jumbo blueberries. Mm, mm-hmm. I've never had a radish or a beet. Huh. But I heard radishes being described as spicy. I think of it as the... What is it? Like, ginger has a kind of, like, mm. earthy spice to it. So I think that beets and radishes must have the same sort of thing going on. But I also can't remember a ton of that. Yeah, and it's like, you can't just eat it raw, can you? So I've I seen some to, like, people. have to prepare it to really, uh, like, know if you like it or not. I've seen people doing some things with raw radishes. So this is one of those things where, you know, there are five different leaves for this radish and two sides for each. So it's like, I only show the process of each little addition once for, or maybe twice, I don't know, for each of the leaves. But I won't show you it on all 10 of these things just know that it took a while and you know I did it for a lot of different versions but um you're only gonna see one (laughs) is it monotonous I'm just I'm mesmerized (laughs) I'm enjoying it (laughs) yeah because I wanted it to um I'm gonna fill in all those gaps you know but I wanted it to have just some some waviness to and some thick parts but not thick all the way through and I don't know my brush 
my uh, my tablet and pen and stuff, they don't have pressure, uh, what is it, pressure sensitivity. So when I do use the brush, I can't make it a gentle stroke and make it thin and then push down harder to make it thick. I have to just do that manually. Merry Christmas? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got the tablet when I was, um, it was kind of a high school graduation present because I got, I think it was a hundred dollar gift card to Staples, is that it? And um, a tablet there cost, oh. cost about a hundred dollars. You were you were reacting to that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to the beautiful image, yes. not to my story. <laughs> the beat had just finished. <laughs> <laughs> the beat dropped. Um, so it is old. So I, would, I graduated high school two thousand twelve. So it's been more than a decade. <gasps> what are those specklies all over gosh that's just an issue with the editing i think it just i don't know the screen sometimes um like lags yeah something like that like it, it happens more often than you would think hmm. but it's not very noticeable so it's not the kind of thing i'll I cut out but yeah like you'll notice some streakiness kind of in the blank spots <laughs> It's like um, blush, mm. like a powder, like powdering your cheeks. Yes, exactly like that. Now I'm just altering the colors a little bit, trying to figure out what will make it look more like a leaf. I think the aesthetic of this radish is so pretty. It looks like, I don't know, so illustrative. Illustrative. Show me. <laughs> This is one of those things um, that I feel like if you said that to a different person, <laughs> they would be so mad. Like, don't correct me. And also, you're wrong. <laughs> it reminds me of the time in high school when um, just like a commonplace phrase that we would use in my friend group was like, whoa, calm down when we're just being silly. Like, um, <laughs> And so one time, one of my friends was you know, in a group and one of her project partners was getting kind of huffy and she said that as a joke and he like popped oh, no. off on her. It was like, ah, oh, dang, he doesn't know. That's just one of our jokes. I guess it was irritating, but like, <laughs> if you were part of our friend group, you'd know. <laughs> Illustrative. <laughs> Still thinking. <laughs> Oh, now I'm doing a thing where I got to make the little veinies Ooh. pop. <laughs> and now I'm making it so that they... Gosh, is it really that magical that you could just like slide a bar and it's like... Vroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the base of this needs to be darker all the way around. So just fixing that. And there you see the UVs. Mm. And how I can use it in tandem with the 3D image with, or the 3D view. The more you know. The less you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Sometimes when I'm putting the voiceover to the visual, I it's hard to tell when we like because <laughs> that we didn't look up for a second. <laughs> like we're both looking at Chow Chow, <laughs> so it's like I would want to time it to be perfectly matching the oh. the like turn the table yes. to the our ooze but it's like nope that's not accurate though <laughs> we didn't say ooh right away i really thought it was gonna be green i forgot because it's green <laughs> i made it i i thought about colors i made it all green at first but it would have been hard to make the stem look so nice like look at i don't know to make it pop mm -hmm. and then i considered orange and yellow but i liked the red most See, it's like I'm on the UVs right now because it would be irritating for me to like toggle all the way around each time, like in the 3D view. So doing it um, on the UVs sometimes is just simpler. But then other times on the 3D, it's like I did the top of that stem bit just in 3D because I didn't have to toggle around a bunch. And oh, it looked like a smile. Aww. <laughs> Reminds me of a candle. Hmm. That's what I was aiming for. Gosh, I had such a hard time with getting the color right for this because it's like, I think it looks nice in Substance Painter, but I think my renders, I need to adjust them a lot because the color doesn't show up as, 
I don't know. It just, it gets too dark, I think, in the renders. So I don't know. It just has to do with how um, I need to learn how to render more. <laughs> so you should have made a biscotti squash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that next time. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, when your brain tries to fill in gaps, like, because I didn't hear you perfectly, but I, all the context is here. I just needed to patiently think about what your words could have meant. <laughs> um, but it's like, I was hearing, like, you should have made up a study squash. Ooh. And it's like, logically, I know that's not what you said. I didn't say anything. <laughs> just had to chill out for a second. Meditate on it. Come back an hour later. <laughs> I think we're good at that. Like, listening, like, retroactively yeah is that the right word yeah (laughs) but sometimes it's hard not to react immediately to what sounds like a really funny sentence when you mishear something yes like (laughs) can I get sauce with my shoes (laughs) (laughs) like that's just funny in itself so why would you need to learn about what the real meaning of those words was (laughs) she's had a few today where it's like what are you what are you saying (laughs) And it usually is what we heard, and then we have to have her explain. Aww. I can't give you examples. Just give me one single example of Felicity <laughs> saying anything at all. Now. Uh, <laughs> blank. Aww. Oh yeah, last week when we were recording, we were anticipating her first day of school. So I guess for anyone who was curious of the subscribers I don't really have yet, we can just say, like, the first day of the school thing went really well. And it's once a week, so the next one's coming up, and um, it's exciting because she already made a friend, and it's nice stuff. It's exactly what we were hoping for. She just needed that one good one, and now she can be Felicity with everyone else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, tell about um, the Spanish class, <laughs> how she was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so... <laughs> The very beginning, the the teacher wanted to know if anyone knew Spanish words. So everyone was saying like what they knew. Like um, one person said they could count to ten. So it was always um, ten. And um, <laughs> others were saying like hola. <laughs> so simple because it's just kindergarten through second grade. <laughs> and anyway, um, so that time had passed, <laughs> and the teacher had flashcards that she was going over. Like here's a picture of something, and then she'd say the Spanish word. And so Felicity kept raising your hand and then the teacher like some kids like gave input like oh what well, um that, that it looks like an arm or you know and then so she would say what the word for arm was so eventually she'd call on Felicity and Felicity would be like uno <laughs> <laughs> she's still on the first part where it's like what do you know in Spanish and she got all the way to cinco <laughs> with her random arm raises Gosh. but like the teacher was so sweet about it that Aww. she was just like Yes, yeah, Uno for what? <laughs> she just accepts it because like it's just kids, you know. What a nice teacher. And she's hard, she was hardly the the most off track for what mm-hmm. they were doing, but it was just she was excited to give her. <laughs> I know these words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going through with a height brush as I like to do to just add some texture, but not too much. And this is something I keep on doing with the produce ones is like the shine of it is always wrong like as I'm working on it so I add a layer of like a skin pre um, preset material kind of thing and I just turn off the color for it so it only has just the like there are so many texture maps like so it's like a roughness and a uh, shininess whatever that will just give it the kind of sheen of, that skin would have, which incidentally is kind of the sheen that fruit skin also has. So if you ever see me just put, you know, skin color something on top of one of my fruits and vegetables, that's why I'm not using that, just the sheen of it. Imagine this was real time and you're just like super quick. Imagine. That's how some animators started, or like what old fashioned animators do. It used to be kind of like a vaudeville trick um, to just speed draw stuff and I guess that's kind of what um what is that like caricature artists do character shell (laughs) (laughs) the caricature artists on Mm -hmm. you know boardwalks and beaches and stuff like they just do with their craft real quick good on them and that's kind of you know like a commodity what is that a sight to see 
<laughs> There's a word. It's a it's a spectacle. Oh dear. Spectacle. It's a spectacle. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? All right. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bam 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 bam.